Well, let's see how this works out. This is my new selfie stick. So I can uh, put the phone further away and uh, hold it out front instead of to the side like I used to. Well, back at the uh, Sunny Hill restoration area, just came down fast and furious on 42, just over the Ocklawaha River. Uh, there's a bridge there and then uh, probably get a beer at the pub. Uh, I think it's called Pugs on the River or something like that, uh, which is just, just across the street here. Um, I've cheated because I've done this hike before. Uh, so, uh, you know, I won't be seeing it for the first time, but I think you're going to enjoy it. We are going to get some of the sunny hill that I have not seen before. Um, but let me, uh, let's cut off right there, not for the selfie, and I'll get some more on the video in just a sec. Well, I like this new stick, man. It can go up a lot further than my other one. But I thought this was a nice touch. We're at the Blue House. It's called the Blue House because guess what? It's blue. <laughs> got the guy over here sleeping on the picnic table. But uh, this is a nice touch. We got the uh, Porta John right here. And I uh, just want to show you where we are. Let's see. So we're right there. Okay. And uh, I'm going to go down here to the tower. There's a tower right there. We're going to get up on that. Now there was a wasp nest there the last time I was here. But then you can you can loop back and go this way, and then we'll hike along the river going down towards Moss Bluff. That should be a, a my whole day of hiking. And uh, if you want to read, the old farm residence was built in the 1920s by a George Elk, the first muck. I wonder what a muck is. I have to look that up. A muck farmer in this area. The original farm covered about 900 acres and was called Stark's Ferry Farm. Succession of owners, this property was purchased by the St. John's River Water Management District in September of 1988. It contains nearly 4,000 acres. So that's why I told you, you could hike around here for quite some time. Um, so we're, we're going to get started. Now, if you went left over here through that gate, that'll just take you right over to the river if you just wanted to hike by the river. Um, very, very pretty. Uh, and we're going to come back through that because I'm going to just do the loop but instead of uh, doing that we're going to go out this gate right here keep gate closed because cattle are inside so you can kind of see what I'm seeing you know it's uh this is about all it's going to look like for a while Oops. trying not to wake that guy up at the table <laughs> let's get rolling and uh yeah, once again, majestic uh, oak trees, and uh, at least we're in the shade for just a second, but that ain't going to last long. Once we get out into the uh, the swamp, swamp there, it, uh, that sun's going to be brutal. Look, look, you know, once again, I had to pick, a, it's a partly cloudy day, but it's hot, you know. It's, and I had to wear, let's just show you. had to wear the hiking pants because uh, I don't know what's going on, but the deer flies have been on me. And no matter where I go, and man, them suckers hurt when they bite you. And for some reason, they're biting just my legs. I, I still have a short sleeve shirt on, so I don't think it's going to be a problem, you know, having, the, having just a short sleeve shirt with the hiking pants. Uh, but uh, I don't know. So I was expecting to see uh, deer flies back in here once we get especially when we get close to the swamp um, but uh, hell I was just at baseline the other day getting some exercise and one bit me there you know so uh, that's why I'm gonna be from that guess point on any videos we make we'll have to wear the hiking pants all right so you see in the beginning of the trail let me cut the selfie stick off I do like this one man and I can get a lot higher with this one so uh, maybe we'll get some some panoramics uh, from a, a bigger height than I could do with the other one. Uh, the other one was just more or less a phone stand for making videos, you know, uh, with the with the microphone on. This is this is different. This is a selfie stick, and uh, I like it. I think it's going to be a good addition to the the hiking uh, ensemble. Like I said, I still want to get the GoPro at some point, but let's just enjoy the hike. So we're still at the beginning of the hike, but I just thought I'd get this on the video. So you're coming across this big field 
right here, which is pretty cool. And uh, and then just continue. And it looks like they've cut the grass since I was last year because this was getting a little long, um, which is good. That uh, you know you can keep an eye out for the snakes, and uh, you know you won't have the the wood ticks and things brushing up against you. So uh, you can see it's not much to it at this point. But I did want to just get that field on the video, and uh, we're just going to continue on down to that tower hopefully the wasps because there's no wind today last time i was here was nice and windy and that kept the wasps off of me uh so i don't know if i'm going to be able to get a video from up on the tower you know if they if they start chasing me uh that, that's going to suck because it really is an awesome view up on this tower of the saint john's uh, river area bed area here and of course the aquahar river we'll get by that today um but it's uh just uh just beautiful here at Sunny Hill. I mean, I uh, wish it wasn't so hot. And, uh, you know, you're gonna wanna have water. I didn't bring any. I got it on my motorcycle, because I know the loop. And I'm gonna, just gonna loop back to the motorcycle before we hike along the river and hydrate again after we're done with the, getting to the tower. All right. So in a previous video, we just came through that right there. And we came in, this is the trail over here. And uh, we hiked all the way up through the cattle and everything to get to right here. And I said, you know, one of these days I'll come back and see there's the other gate. You would go through that gate and that'll take you about to another entrance to the Sunny Hill Restoration Area. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to go right down this road and you see that tower down there. And uh, I'm hoping those wasps won't chase me off and we'll get some good video from that tower. Uh, and if you, on another video, <laughs> I actually hiked up the from the other side to get to the tower but there was a gator sunning himself and i had been warned you know that uh that they're the male gators are in season and they can get aggressive so i didn't want to walk right in front of him <laughs> and then they told me well if his mouth was open he was asleep i said well i didn't know you know i'm a city slicker i so uh just to kind of show you the hike that you can do you know so if you want to come in just go down to the tower it's a short hike and then we're gonna hook back this way and go uh, go circle back to the motorcycle, get some water, and then we'll hike down by the river. Um, but uh, it's a real, real beautiful place to be. You can see you know, lots and lots of people everywhere. <laughs> so, so all right, let's, uh, let's get that video from the tower. I'm hoping, let's hope. Got my fingers crossed, oh yeah. So I always try to get the weird stuff on the video. I'm not sure what the purpose of this little dock is. Let's just walk out here. Ooh, feels kind of soft. Hope I don't go into the swamp here. Hydrologic Data Collection Site, St. John's River Water Management District. Huh. Be real curious if somebody ever watches this video to tell me what exactly this is doing. But uh, here's a tower. Uh, I don't see any wasps putting them buzzing around, so I'm encouraged. Let's get up there and get a video. They're here, all right. They're kind of leaving me alone for now. But let's just get a get a view. I'll be nice and quiet. Well, 
hopefully you enjoyed that I'm gonna hang out here a few just uh, an amazing amazing view of the uh, Sunny Hill restoration area and you can tell if you're a bird watcher you know there's all kinds of birds in here it's uh, it's pretty cool I didn't you know I don't I didn't take videos of them coming in and I could have but uh, there's just so many but uh, I'm just uh, this would be a great place. I should have brought an apple. You know, you'd be sit here and have an apple. And look, those wasps are so far, they're leaving me alone up there. Must be a big nest. All right. You guys, peace out. Just thought I'd get one more quick video. You know, every time I come here, I never see anybody. So I bet if you could get over in there, <laughs> you, I bet you could just throw your lure in the water and pull a fish out in two seconds. That'd be a wonderful place to go fishing. But how in the world would you get back in there without getting bit by a gator? Or, or even, you know, how would you drag it through all of the, the weeds and everything? But I thought that's just cool looking at that water from up here on the tower. All right. Well, looky here, we got a guy coming. I'm hoping that he can explain what these things are. I'm gonna to try to wave him down because I get real curious about stuff like this. I mean, I, I, probably some sort of flood control, but I don't see what what good it would do. Anyway, let's see if I can uh, ask him a question. Anyway, we just came up the road, the tower's down there, and we're gonna go this way on the trail. It's gonna take us up to the river. So the new stick can go a lot higher than the old one, so I'm gonna put it up and let you enjoy a little bit of uh, looking out onto the prairie as I hike along. And uh, I just, uh, this is what you see. I mean, this is why I'm here. Now it's a hot day. You wouldn't want to be here on, I mean, I was hoping for partly cloudy. You can kind of see the clouds, but uh, they, they left me. So I've been baking in that sun. Not much shade here. But anyway, just enjoy the hike. This is going to be awesome. I'm going to get this stick up as high as I can get it. I can't wait to see that on the video, but uh, should be pretty cool. But uh, man, that is just an awesome sight, isn't it? Wow. So I'm making the turn here. I thought I'd get a quick video. You know, we came down by this water, real pretty. You know, here's the restoration area. And we're heading on in this direction. Now right up here across that berm is the river. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hike down by the river. Well, maybe an hour, two. I don't think there's gonna be much to see. I tell you what, no, no shade. <laughs> That's one problem with the sunny. I mean, there are places in here that have shade, but, uh, and I mean, I'll tell you that it's a hot day. I'm looking forward to getting back to the motorcycle here real quick. But you can kind of see if you ever wanna, just a quick day hike. Uh, you know, I went down to the tower and then came up and just came down this road. And this is going to circle back to the, uh, the parking lot and uh, you know you don't have to hike by the river um, and you could you know you could do this probably in, I'm, I don't know how long I've been here maybe an hour uh, this whole hike and uh, you know if you just wanted a quick uh, hour long hike that'd be good for you but you know for me I, I got to get more than an hour and, and the, the, this, it's a little bit too hot for me to get the heart rate up um, so I'm kind of moving slow uh, I wish I didn't have to have the long pants on, but I have had some flies buzzing me, you know, not many. Uh, for some reason, they don't land on my arms. I, I don't know why that is. Uh, they do try to get on your face, uh, but, uh, you know, usually you can swat them away. Uh, it's just when they get on those legs, man, and whew, that hurts when they bite. Oh, my God. 
So uh, from now on, I'll be wearing the, uh, the hiking pants. And uh, we'll get some another video when I get up here on the ridge and uh, get you a shot of the river. And uh, that's it for now. So I'm not sure how it would work, but that's what these are for is flood control during the hurricane. Because I guess they don't want the river coming out over the bank here. I don't, I'm not quite sure. You know, and I, so they would open these, I suppose, and the water would just flow right along here. Um, not sure what good that would do. You're still going to flood the restoration area. And what difference does it make if it comes out over the bank right here? Uh, well, I guess, you, you know, I assume that, you know, there might be some property around here that could get flooded uh, if that river got too high. So that's, uh, that's what all that's about. And uh, you would want the water into the restoration restoration area rather than uh, flooding somebody's business or a house or or even the street up here. But let's uh, let's get, give you a look back. You know, this is kind of what you're going to see. You can see there's no shade. You're just going to hike along the river. You know, on a nice cool day, this would be just wonderful to be here. Um, I just wanted to give you a look back. There's the the bridge I came across to to get here now. Right, let's see if I can get it right over in here. That's the uh, that's the bar. Bush light, 16 ounce, 225. <laughs> so uh, about a couple hours from now, that's where I'll be. And uh, again, I'm not sure what they serve for food, but um, I'll check that out. I've been in there, real nice people. Uh, it's uh, it's it's you know they've also got uh, they got airboat rides and. Uh, I assume they got pontoon boats. You could probably rent one, you know. And uh, but anyway, let's just uh, hike on down. You can see there's not going to be a whole lot more video. You know, we came up this. I went back to the motorcycle this way. Uh, drank about a gallon of water because <laughs> I don't want to carry it today. I just didn't want that backpack on my back because it's just so doggone hot. As long as you just hydrate really, really well before you get out hiking, you know. And uh, and I knew I could just do that loop and come back and get some water right there um, but uh, I'm gonna go a couple miles this way we'll see if we see anything unique and uh, but this is kind of what you're just gonna see and so if, you know if you just came for a day just to hike along the restoration area and, and just enjoy the river you know that would be okay uh, I mean you wouldn't want to be here today unless you're me because <laughs> it's hotter than blue blazes out here all right so I'm not very far along, but look at that. You can see the tower way off in the distance over there. And uh, being up on this berm, you really get a good look at the, uh, at the um, well, I call it a swamp. <laughs> but, uh, but at the restoration area there. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a nice, easy hike. Really easy on the legs and the feet. You know, you're not in that deep sand that we've done on some trails or or even when uh, when I did the other half of the Aqua River, you know, that was that uh, kind of concrete, rocky, and that was tough uh, hiking on because your feet get to hurting after a while. I like the nice soft grass here. Um, and look at that, look, look at that bird. Looks like a pterodactyl, that thing's so big. Wow. Like I said, it's a great place for birding. Let's see, there, there he goes. You see him? Good, I'm glad I got that on the video. That's uh, that's always fun to watch. And uh, you can see out there, there's some white birds flying around. I mean, uh, what, a, what a spectacular place. All right. Boy, I don't know who owns that piece of property, but boy, wouldn't you love to live there, right on the river? Got his own dock right here. And I mean, nobody within a mile, any direction, Anyway, there's the uh, there's a tower over there. Seeing the area, I just wanted to show you that uh, somebody uh, they got in here, I guess, before this became government land. Uh, and man, I tell you, wonder how much that would run for. Beautiful place. I always get the weird stuff. Here's a dock in the middle of nowhere. Looks like there might be just kind of a path. It's just a little bit overgrown got a picnic table on there I don't know anyway we're continuing on along 
not much to see. I mean, I mean, a lot to see. It's just not, no scenery, no change in scenery. Just kind of looking out and hiking along the river here. So I'm about two hours into the hike. I'm probably gonna have to turn back here pretty quick. You know, we came down that, I guess I'm a couple, three miles in here or so, I don't know. But I just thought I'd get this on the video. You got that one tree right there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's looking prehistoric, doesn't it? Doesn't it look like you're gonna see a, a T-Rex come come across that and uh, uh, you know one a dinosaur of some sort? Because uh, that's just cool looking. But uh, not a whole lot to tell you. I mean, it's uh, you know I think what I'm gonna want to do is get my mountain bike and come back here and just bike this. Because uh, I don't know how many miles this thing goes. It's, it's, a lot of fun. We got a few people on the river. Had seen a couple jet skis. Boy, I tell you, if you ever went over on one of those, I, I bet there's a lot of gators down in there. But uh, anyway, you know, one thing that always baffles me everywhere I go in the United States and even here in Florida, I mean, I can understand cutting the road right here, you know, uh, but why in the world are they going down the sides of the bank? I mean, look at that imagine how much gas it took to cut all of that down there why not let that grow in you know where you could almost maybe get some shade I mean I don't see the point nobody's gonna hike down there and uh, I mean nobody's gonna go down there so what's what's the point of cutting it and I just wanted to make that observation I'm gonna get to this bend up here and then probably turn around it's uh, boy I tell you it's when that I got a little breeze going right now but man, for a while there, there was no breeze, and you know, you can, in Florida, man, it's just, you could just feel the heat just radiating up, you know, and, uh, but, uh, you know, it's, that's the thing, you know, here in Florida, you, you just got to get out in it, you know, and uh, eventually your body will get to, to where you can take the heat, um, at least that's been my experience in the three years I've been here, so, you know, it's real important to get out in the, in the hot heat of the day, and hike around and you know I know a lot of people in my community they want to do everything in the morning and then that's it they just they go into their air conditioning and they never get get used to the heat so the the rest of the day they can't really enjoy it because they're cooped up in their houses you know whereas I'm out here hiking around enjoying the scenery uh, and then you know once I get get back it'll be about uh, five or six o'clock That'll be perfect time to go to that bar across the road there and have a cold one and uh, drink. I got one more bottle of water on the motorcycle, so I'll be drinking that up and, uh, you know, and just chill out when you're good and tired. You don't feel like doing much. Hang, hang out with some people and, you know, have some fun. But uh, we'll get a, one last video once I get around this turn. And like I said, this would be a great place to bring a mountain bike and just ride down this uh, I didn't see any signs that said no bikes, uh, so I'm, you know, I'm, it, I've seen what I think were bike treads. You know, it's hard to tell, but, uh, you know, w would you rather go to the Santos Trail where there's a gazillion people or Baseline Park where there's a gazillion people or bring your bike here and be the only person out here riding? I think I'd rather be here. And you can tell I, I might be getting wet on the way home these are these are storm clouds you can see the rain coming down up here that's one of the risks you take at this time of the year in Florida as the storms can come up on you you know you got a 20 percent chance of rain and boom you're <laughs> you're getting wet and I certainly can't ride the bike in the rain but I can I can walk in the rain and just don't try to keep the phone as dry as I can but uh, you can see it's just more of the same really uh, really just an amazing year that's the hard part for me is you know I don't want to turn around you know I want to keep going you know because it is a, it is really just beautiful and uh, but uh, that was just a comment I wanted to make why why cut all this grass I mean I would just get maybe go over to here and, and just leave the rest of it natural and let it grow in that's just seems seems to me that would save a whole lot of fuel and you know rather than cutting on the sides plus you know the wear and tear on the equipment yeah, I guess a lot of things don't make sense to me all right all right last video 
of this hike as I'm turning around. But this is, I uh, kind of broke out. You know, we came down that back there and you had the prehistoric uh, look and then then it broke out into an open plain here again. You can see it's continuing on down this way. Just summarize the hike. Uh, really easy on the feet. You know, the grass is nice and soft. Uh, no shade and hotter than hell. But uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hike. Uh, I guess that's about all I can say. Um, you guys peace out and until the next hike. We'll uh, come back maybe next time. I'll just uh, wait till we get down here on the mountain bike. Um, because I definitely want going to come back and ride this. That'd be a fun day just to get bike riding for a couple hours. You know, and you get to see, you know, maybe some, at some point it might dive back into the trees way out there. Who knows? All right.